cops arrested me. Don't they know who I am? I'm the aviator. <laughs> this video is brought to you by pvp.endersouls.com. Literally one of the best prison servers I've ever been on in my life. It is aesthetically pleasing. Look at how beautiful this server looks. It's got a great warp system so you don't have to mess around with all these commands or anything like that. Plus a great beautiful plot area and one of the most amazing donator perk lineups I've ever seen. They even have a rank called The Aviator. It's the best. You guys can buy it. It benefits me and the server itself. But you guys, this server has amazing donator perks such as a donator area with really amazing mines that have better things that you can find in the normal mines and even an area where you can kill some animals for XP and the store prices uh, benefit you a little bit more but if you're not a donator they still have great stuff such as the mines great stores and even an amazing PvP area with even a PvP mining area so if you really like the PvP this server has it plus they have this special crate you can unlock with keys so what are you waiting for go to the server IP on the screen and in the description pvp.endersouls.com right now what is up everyone mr. aviator here for you another one of my first stories now this story is extremely embarrassing okay so uh, I have been technically arrested once in my life uh, and I'm gonna go over how it happened and how stupid utterly stupid it is uh, for me to have done this thing and for me to have been arrested for it But I figured hey you guys are my friends my family I'll share the story with you so it doesn't happen to you so you can learn a lesson from my mistakes uh, Okay, so this is how it went Okay, so me and my current fiance. I was oh, I just turned 18 actually it was it was in January my birthday's in November So I just turned 18 and my fiance was 16 years old. Yes, there's a two-year age difference uh, We went to a shop go um, It's basically like Walmart, but smaller. Um, so we went to a shop go and I remember Haley's parents my fiance uh, my fiance's parents were staying at a hotel in the city We live in we were just having like this little at-home giveaway getaway where you kind of stay in at a hotel and you hop in a pool But me and Haley decided to to uh, talk to her parents and say we're gonna quickly run to the store and Haley's parents had a whole bunch of people over at this hotel like 20 family members. It was a huge thing so me and Haley ran to the store um, we went to Shopco and we were just shopping around. It started like a normal day and I, I don't know how this happened. I have no idea. If you ask me today, I'm still confused why this happened to me. Um, okay, so we were walking around and I don't know if it was the rebellious side in me and Haley at the time. If we were feeling like rebels, the young people. I was still in high school and so was she. Um, but we must have been feeling a little bit rebellious because we decided that it would be a great idea to take a box of condoms. Okay, a box of condoms. Open the box and put the condoms in Haley's pocket. Now, this is how it went down. We grabbed the box of condoms. I look behind me. I'm like, I think somebody's watching. I was paranoid. I didn't want to do it anymore. I was done. As soon as we just had the box of condoms in our head, I'm like, stop it. I don't want to do it anymore. I can't do it. I cannot do it anymore. So just stop. Let's put it back. And Haley insisted. I mean, no one's watching us. No one's going to catch us. So... We start walking down an aisle because we're like, we're going to open this box of condoms where no one's around. We're going to go to like the drape aisle for your windows. You know, no one's going to be there. So we went there. They had a display with drapes hanging there. We kind of hid inside the drapes a little bit. I saw the guy two more times on the way to this drape area. And he was wearing like a hooded sweatshirt walking by really fast, getting a quick peek every time. So I was really nervous at this point. I was about to go to college to be a cop at this point. So I knew how to spot this kind of stuff. So... Basically, we open the box, take the condoms out, she puts them in her coat pocket, zips the pocket up, we put the box under the drapery. Now we think we're pretty good at this point and we're ready to walk out of the store like some badasses that just stole six dollars worth of condoms. <laughs> and uh, this is how it happened. We start walking down the main hall of shop. I'm super nervous. I see the guy one more time before we leave the store. I'm like, oh god, this guy is a secret shopper. That's what I'm thinking, he's a secret shopper we're busted. Now, we open the door to Shopka opens, shh, automatic doors, and we're about to peel out. We're about to just walk out the door and be free. Now, right when we get our heads just out the doorway, we hear, stop, stop right now, and then you just hear running. Now, in my adolescent mind, I think, run, but 
in my wannabe a cop mind, I think, stay, stay, accept, accept this. You just fucked up, man. <laughs> so we sl we don't run. That's just gonna make it worse. We stay. Uh, the guy, the guy's like, yo, come in here. Is this yours? And he holds up the empty, crushed box of condoms. I'm like, oh god, we're busted. And it was the worst feeling of my life. I knew my life was over. My heart sunk at that point. So, basically, uh, we admitted, and we're like, yeah, yeah, that's ours. Uh, and then Haley, uh, you know, she was kind of being a little cocky, and I was like, I'll pay for it. I had the money. That's the sad, stupid thing. You know, I was a broke teenager, but I had the $6. But he's like, sorry. Yeah, that's not how it works. You tried to steal these condoms. Um, and he said he was observing me, and he noticed I didn't want to do it. And, you know, I told him my story about wanting to be a cop. And the, the secret shopper, you know, he took us back to his back room, and I told him I wanted to be a cop. And he said he heard me having second thoughts. He's like, you know what? You can go, but she's got to stay. And, you know, at this point, I was only dating my fiance for three months, four months. I was like, I'm not going to ruin this relationship with a girl I love by leaving her behind because she didn't have a car it was my car she didn't even have a license yet so I'm like I can't just ditch her because I'm with her parents at a hotel so I'm like I can't do this to her so I'm gonna stay he's like okay that's fine so I assumed I wasn't gonna be charged with anything oh everything's good good here right <laughs> and then he called the police department the actual sheriff's department and they came rushing down it's super embarrassing uh, me and my girlfriend just joking around with this guy actually having a good time this guy kind of liked me and you know he probably saw me inside him a little bit because he was a secret shopper or he was an ex-cop uh, he understood what I wanted to do and wanted to be and you know young love and stupidity and stuff um, but the cops get there uh, I just turned 18 a couple months prior and the cops are like it looks like we're gonna have to cite you guys for um, one they cited Haley well I'll start with me so they're like, we're going to have to cite you. I'm like, what? Did the, the guy said I could leave? And then the cop's like, well, you should have left. <laughs> so the, basically the cop said, it doesn't matter what this guy says. We're giving you a ticket because you should have left if he told you to leave. So basically they cited me with, um, what is it? Party to a burglary. So on my record, I got a federal offense. They made it look like I... They made my stealing of a $6 condom box look like I broke into a bank or something like that. So I got this record, and they're like, yo, it's going to take seven years to come off your record. You just got a, fel a felony of uh, a accomplice to a burglary. And I'm like, what? $6 box of condoms? It was a $800 ticket. It was um, appear in court. I had to appear in court and stand up in front of I think it was 80 or so adults that had, had committed real crimes. And I had to plead my case to the judge. I lost my ass because I didn't have a lawyer because I was working at McDonald's. Um, and I didn't tell my mom because I was 18. I had to pay this $800. I was probably making 150 bucks a month and I had only like three months to pay it. I sold everything and my mom was wondering, like, why are you selling everything? I had to pay that ticket. Then I told my mom a couple months later and we could both laugh at it after she found out I couldn't go to college to be a cop. We didn't, she didn't laugh for years. <laughs> she was mad for years. Couldn't go to college to be a cop. I basically lost that opportunity and now it's off my record. It actually took a couple years to go off my record. But it was a horrible thing. My girlfriend, being 16, she got off with 10 hours of community service and no record. I was like, kill me, please. I will die today for this, please. And the, the sad thing is, I could have left. And then morning radio, we have these famous morning radio hosts that always make fun of people. And everyone tunes in. Everyone at my school tunes in. And they were talking about this couple that committed a crime and stole a box of condoms. And the guy got screwed. And my friend came up to me like... Yo, they just talked about you on the radio. I'm like, what? So everyone in the school knew I was the the, the jackass of the morning. They called called me, and uh, you know that's that's my first time being arrested, and hopefully my only time. If I can do anything about it, it will be my only time for the rest of my life being arrested. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this story. If you did, remember to slap that like button, heads, and leave a comment down below of what you would like me to talk about next time. And until then, or take it easy, live it squeeze. Me. Have you guys seen the news, Bam Lounge Skip? We open up a lemonade stand and make mucho bucks. Check it out right now.